yes you should be getting a lot of messages from you guys saying how do we fix activation error one second I've got iPhone 6s and it was hard for me to get I had to find that the phone with activation error a lot of you guys been asking me so I have to deliver so I managed to get hold of an iPhone with activation error as you can see the first thing what you need to do is you need a laptop you need a USB cable you need to download iTunes if you don't know how to download iTunes I will show you go to Google type iTunes I don't know if you guys can see it tap at the bottom where it says iTunes download iTunes now you can see you just click the download once you click the download it will install it on your computer or your Mac I've already downloaded it so once you download it you put the icon so just run it once you run it you'll have it it will end up then open it once you open it make sure you connect Make sure you connect your phone to the laptop. As you can see, it's charging. So once you connect it, there's a couple of steps that I've already passed that you guys you might need to do. Once you connect it, you need to you need to connect while the cable is connected. Press the home button and the power button together. I hope you can see it. So press it together keep holding it the phone will go off once it goes off once you see the Apple logo let go of the power button keep holding it press it then let go of power button keep holding home button then let go of the home button too and then now put the recovery mode on your phone as you can see I don't know if it's clear enough this is there's a problem with the iPhone the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored so you can either do two of them you can update it or you can restore it so I'm gonna update it once you update but you need to if you click update I'll show you it's gonna install the software on your it's gonna download the, the latest software as you can see iOS 12.2 will require to download on your laptop so once you click download uh, and update it's gonna install automatically but for me I've already downloaded it so I don't waste too much time so click and make sure your phone is still connected otherwise it's not gonna, it's not gonna read your phone so click update as you can see it's Top where I'll show you there. So this is gonna take a couple of minutes. It depends how fast your computer is. While we're waiting for the software to install on the phone, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like uh, like button. If you have any other problems, just let me know. Just leave the comments below. I'll try my best. slow be patient with me we're almost there now now it's preparing for iPhone for software update so now it's gonna try and put the software on the phone as you can see the phone is gone off Take this your USB out. Make sure. I don't know if you guys can see at the bottom here. It's trying to install the software. Uh, 
installing the device software, the air driver software, the Apple mobile device recovery mode. Sometimes it might work straight away, but sometimes it needs to look for the drivers. It depends. Because I'm using Windows 7. Windows 7 normally finds the software itself, so sometimes you might not find it, you might have to find it yourself. Check it. Install the software. As you can see, it's find the USB driver. Now the phone is coming on. you might have some problems if you have some problems just let me know I will try to find that solution for you guys as you can see it's trying to install a software on the phone It's gonna take time, guys. So I'm gonna stop. Uh, pause the video. I'll come back to you guys later. It's nearly finished guys, as you can see. We're almost there now. We have another line again, you can see underneath the Apple logo. And this line is quick, because the software is already installed. Took my cable off because I don't want to sink. My backup on this phone. It's always good to set up my new to show you if it's gone. If you fixed the error. Okay, I don't want to do the, the touchpad. Password, with a great password. For the video, let's just do zero zero zero. Use anyway. As you can see, yeah, I'm gonna ask you to restore from iCloud backup. Restore from iTunes backup set up as a new phone. So I'll make this set up as a new phone. After this stage, you're required to install your Apple ID. As you can see, once you put your Apple ID, you just click next. As you can see, guys, we need to finish. 
Just click agree. Continue. Continue use location disable. Just to show you guys to this layer. Serve later. Oh, share. Choose a standard one, okay. There you go, guys. Now you go through the phone. If you find this helpful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.